Hi guys, we're just gonna go ahead and show you how we make our Haitian style burritos and tacos. Stay tuned. Okay, here we have our carrots, our coarsely chopped carrots, um, shrew, cabbage, and onions. We also have our seasoning goya. We have garlic, we have salt, and we have lemon juice. We also have here um, my peppers, my onions, my cabbage, my mushrooms, and garlic. I have um, milk over there. We're gonna just add the mayonnaise to the bowl here. About two, you know, tablespoons of, of mayonnaise. And then we add some milk and so the voice in your head tells you that it's enough. That's how I do my cooking. Um, and we add onion bouchon, citron, just about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And we add it in there. About a tablespoon. We add it in there. And then we add some garlic and so the voice in your head says that's enough. As you can see here. We're also going to add some seasoning. And so the voice in your head says it's enough, of course. Redundant, but hey. Alright. And then we're gonna add some salt. Ah, so the voice in your head says it's enough. And then we're gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna go and use my whisker instead because I believe it, it will mix everything in together more evenly. Here's my whisker. We're gonna whisk everything in there. So it could be all mixed in well together. You want to make sure that the mayonnaise is not stuck to the bottom, that it's evenly distributed with the milk. Okay, we want it to be all mixed in very much well together. As so, whisk, whisk, whisk. Then we're going to take our ingredients that's in the bowl after it's all whisked nicely and evenly together. We're going to take that and pour it into the bowl that has our cabbage, carrots, and onions. Okay? Add that in there. And then we're going to mix this very well. Okay, you want the dressing to be well absorbed with all your ingredients. As you can see, it's already, you know, drifting to the bottom. So you want to take all of that and bring it up top. You want to mix your ingredients very well. Again, I like, um, you know, my, my coleslaw to be coarsely chopped. I don't like it thin. I like to feel that crunch and to feel like I have some type of substance, you know, that I'm eating. Okay, so we're here mixing it all together. As you can see, you want it to be evenly distributed in the bowl, okay? And we're going to take that and leave it to the side. We're going to go and distribute it into the coleslaw. You want to have that nice, good taste. Right. We're going to take that now, we're going to um, cover it, and then we're going to go on to cook our meat, okay? I'm going to cover that, leave it to the side. Here's our meat, we have our ground beef, I had add a little of garlic in there. I had already prepared my meat with a piece about three nights before, so it could marinate very well. Okay, I have that in there. Um, I also added um, hot sausage to it. I grounded it up and then I added it to my ground beef um, because I just like the taste. And I added that in. I'm just, you know, scrambling all the meats together so that they could cook evenly. Okay, you want your, your meat to be very well cooked to a nice golden brown. All right. You don't want to eat no raw meat now. Okay. So if you're not bien, bien cuit. Okay? So let us we are going to take the ragu and add it in in a little while. Okay? Now we are going to put it in a little while. Okay? We are going to put it in a little while. Okay? We are going to already boiled our rice. Um, again, I don't. I like it soft because we are making burritos. You know, we are making burritos and tacos, so we want it to be a bit soft for um, the texture. You know, with the burrito. All right, so I'm making sure that it's all well cooked that the rice is very well cooked 
and I add the aluminum foil to keep it soft, okay, to keep the moisture trapped in there to keep our rice soft, okay? Turn that off, and then I'm back. I added in the ragu to, the, to our meat, and I'm just making sure that it's well mixed in there. You want it to be evenly distributed in your meat so that it could have, you know, that same good taste. Um, and once we have done that, I am going to add some hot sauce to it because I, I like hot sauce, you know? Nice good kick in there. I added some hot sauce to it, and I'm just making sure that it's all mixed in um, together. Harley's saying hi. He's helping me, you know, um, take take the video. As I couldn't, of course, I don't have a third arm. I also want you guys to know that, you know, this was supposed to be his segment, but I ended up doing it instead. I want the Haitian community and as well as other communities to know that, you know, our husbands can help. Here we have, of course, our coarsely chopped um, cabbage, our green pep our peppers, onions, and mushrooms, and a bit of garlic um, here. I love cooking with garlic. I love the taste. I, I love, you know, the benefits of garlic. So I, you'll often see that I cook with a lot of garlic. I was raised that way, so I continue to cook that way. Once more, I do want to emphasize that this was supposed to be Harmony's segment. I want the Haitian community to understand and to know that, you know, our Haitian husbands, our Haitian partners, our Haitian friends, males, specifically males, they do take part in cooking in the kitchen. Okay, he's a very good cook. He knows how to cook very, very well. I am a blessed woman. <laughs> but I did end up doing this segment myself, okay? I, I just got up earlier and I said, hey, why not? And so he just came in and he helped me by video, taking the video instead. So I'm mixing up everything in the pot, making sure everything is evenly distributed, as you know. And um, you want it to cook well, you know, you have mushrooms in there, your onions, you know, a little bit of cabbage, because I'm that type of girl, all right? Okay, here I had added some corn to the meat and all the other ingredients we have in there. I'm just evenly distributing it with everything else. I love corn, sweet corn, of course. Um, again, if you don't want all of these ingredients in your meat, by all means, do not add them. This is just my way of doing my burritos. If you want less, if you have other things that you would like in the meat, you can add it. I have a tortilla there, a plain tortilla. I'm adding some meat to it. I'm gonna have all the um, ingredients that I had added, the salsa, the guac. Everything is gonna be listed, so don't worry. Um, I added rice, cheese, mozzarella cheese, and some spinach. Here I have some guac that I'm going to add, like so, just a little bit, I don't like it too much. And then about mm, one spoon of salsa. And we're going to try to wrap it up. I'm not the best wrapper, but I'm okay. Alright, as so. You take the bottom, you fold it in, bring the two sides together, then take the top and fold that in as well. You're going to have a hot pot. I set mine to seven. It's a medium. Place it in there. No oil, no butter. That's how I did mine. And then you just let it, the tortilla comes to the form and shape that you folded it to. And then flip it to the other side. Okay, this is the end result. I have my burritos on my right. My tacos on my left with um, cabbage and my salt coleslaw. Alright guys, thumbs up, subscribe, like. I'm going to have all the descriptions in the box.